Time now to shine the spotlight on three Yankee All-Stars who will wear the AL All-Star uniform at the 85th All-Star Game July 15th in Minnesota. They include a legend who will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, along with two newcomers whose MLB careers are just in the early stages. Let's take a closer look at this trio of Yankee All-Stars. Up the middle, and through for a base hit. Jeter's four for four. Derek Jeter will be in the starting lineup for the American League All-Star squad next Tuesday night. Masahiro Tanaka with a complete game. Masahiro Tanaka, arguably the best starter in the league in the first half. Strike three, he strikes out the side again. Along with Dylan Batances, who's been dominant from the Yankees' pen, were named to the pitching staff for the American League squad. An impressive pair of new All-Star arms. For Jeter, the Bombers' all-time leader in hits, games, stolen bases, at-bats, and singles, it will be his 14th All-Star appearance. Only Hall of Famers Mickey Mantle and Yogi Berra played in more All-Star games representing the Yankees. It's never a situation where I expect to go to the All-Star game. Um, and I've never taken it for granted at all in my career any time that I've gone. And uh, I've enjoyed uh, each and every one of them being special, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Tanaka leads the majors in both wins and complete games while ranking among the league leaders in several other categories. Because he is scheduled to pitch on Sunday for the Yankees at Baltimore, Tanaka will be replaced on the active roster and will not pitch in the All-Star game, though he does plan to attend. Yes, obviously, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it, you know, to be part and to be able to meet with um, some of the best pitchers in the major league. Um, that's going to be a great experience for me. After being demoted to Double-A Trenton as recently as 2012 to work on his command issues, the odds appeared stacked against Dylan Batanza's flourishing at the big league level. But the Yankees finally hit the jackpot after moving the six-foot-eight right-hander to the bullpen. When Joe, Joe called me in the office, I, I was at a loss for words there for a second. I mean, I'm, I'm truly blessed and honored to participate in this event, and I'm, I'm so excited. I definitely, I was emotional earlier. You know, because it's been it's been hard work. You know, it's, it's been a long journey. You know, from all the years in the minor leagues, all the ups and downs, and have such a you know good first half. And you know, for the players to vote for me, I mean, I'm truly humble. A product of New York City, Batances has figured out how to harness his high 90s fastball with a nasty slurve and slider, turning them all into strikeout weapons. Batances' first half performance has drawn comparisons to the dominance that Mariano Rivera enjoyed in 1996, setting up for John Wetland on a Yankees club that went on to win the World Series. Congratulations to the three Yankee All-Stars.